What's going on, YouTube world? This is the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al, recording from Lovely Paradise. Paradise. <laughs> and please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, the boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Please like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and your lovely enemies. Oh, can we say haters? They got support, too. Now they got support me, too. I'll support them back. All right. So today is going to be a Marvel Legends Day. And I'm super excited about that. And um, let's get the focus, Daniel, son. All right. So the first character we're going to be talking about is He Who Remains. He Who Remains. From the Loki series. And uh, Ant, uh, is it the Ant-Man uh, from Marvel's Quantinadium? I think Quantum, something like that. Forgive me if I pronounced it wrong. I haven't watched the movie. I heard it was decent. I didn't watch the first or the second Ant-Man, but I'm just not a big Ant-Man fan on Marvel. He wasn't one of my favorite characters. I think I do have the movies on regular DVD. I maybe need to watch it one day for old time series. But uh, definitely, I can't wait to talk about my, my boy here. And then next, we're going to be talking about Red Skull. Red Skull, he, um, you know, he's been a villain for a long time in a Captain America series. And then last but not least, I normally only want to talk about like one or two figures on each video, but I said this this character, I'm going to definitely squeeze um, squeeze in here. It's a pretty oldie, but the package, they don't make no more, which is sad because I hate this packaging from Marvel's, from Hasbro. But um, definitely, it's going to be Madam Hydra. And um, this is my first Madam Hydra figure. I want the first one, but... Mm, I actually looked up at this one at Walmart a while back. So, um, today is so beautiful outside. That walk is really great. Okay, so first and foremost, we're going to talk about He Who Remains. Um, I forgot the actor's name that quick. He, his, his name was on my mind before I started this video, but I forgot. He's an upcoming big-time celebrity. He's, I know he's playing the new Creed. But on oh, He Who Remains, all right. So, a.k.a. Kang. So, I want to say this about uh, Hasbro's box, and I don't like this because some of these I have brought in the past, the figures were, were broke, like their wrist, and sometimes the little ballpoint joint of the head was broken off. So, you know, I sent it back. But who wants to go through all that pay for shipping the handle and get a new one? Well, actually, I'm lying. I didn't ever ship it back. I took it back to the store and got my money. Because I normally keep my receipts. Like, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, not a pack rat, but when it comes to receipts, I'm going to have them. But let's get down to the business that pay us uh, one day. <laughs> so, as you know, he is a build a figure for uh, Khonshu. Khonshu, I think he's a character maybe on um, Loki, probably. They make some weird looking people because I know he he's the same color as the um, the Moon Knight guys characters and all of that. So I don't know, but if you get all of them, which I got pretty much everybody but except Zombie Scarlet Witch, Howard the Duck, and that's it. I don't really have no means of getting them to. But here we go. Here's the packaging. I think this packaging is very tacky, and that's what makes a lot of people complain. You can't see the figure in front of your face when you purchase it, but hey. Okay, so um, Disney's Loki character, He Who Remains. You know, he's a big-time person in the Marvel Universe. I do know that he is Kang in the comic book. Um, he He's very intelligent. Uh, his, um, his powers is he can control time, multiverse styles like any... He can always uh, transfer his mind to another being's uh, body, a younger body. So, pretty much, he who remains will always live on. But I know when he's like Kang or something, he can he gets like a machine gun. And um, I've read a little bit about him as Kang in the comic books in the past. So, I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to the comic books, just a little bit. But I can't remember everything, every detail. <laughs> when you become an adult, you have a life. Now, same people who Talk about comic books don't have no life. But this, the packaging kind of cracks me up. I never really talked about it, but it reminds me of a mommy. <laughs> he is a mommy. But I do know that um, this uh, Kane's uh, out costume that he wears, 
has like some type of powers or something. I don't know to that degree. But um, the guy's really um, very intelligent. Very intelligent. Here he go right here. He looks actually just like the actor. And um, what's so crazy? Let me throw, throw, um, oh Lord, we're gonna have a problem with his feet, y'all. Let's lift off, lift off, lift off. Put him on little famous black trash bag. I got a bigger one this time, I ain't got a small one. So, he comes with this head, this build a figure head. The guy, Conan Oshu, I think that's what you pronounce his name. And um, that's an ugly head. But I'm going to keep it because I might get the scarlet down the road. It's not really that important to me. Okay, so let's see what we can talk about with this guy and do some justice. Um, I don't know. This feet thing, I don't like the feet. So I'm already having problems with this character, this um, action figure. So let's see. I, I really don't like the feet. The feet... Is already messed up. Look at his feet. But I do know that this char this character right here, he's gonna be very costly down the road. So if you can find him in the store, you might want to get him now because I think years to come, people is really going to charge like three hundred bucks for him online. And this guy is a new guy in Hollywood. Speaking speaking of speak of the the guys, let me find out um, what's his name because. It's ringing up my brain a little bit. And, um, hold on. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. He, who, let's see if it comes up with he who remains. I'll put in the Google search. Kang the Conqueror. Okay, what is his name? Jonathan Majors. I, I had to look him up because it the it was just ringing my brain gang. So, Jonathan Majors is a new it guy, and he's got a little controversy going on, but we're not going to get into it on this video because that's kind of like an adult topic. And um, so, with that being said, let's get to the character. He comes with this apple right here. <clears throat> so... From what I do know of him, know of him and his powers, you know he's very intelligent, very smart, Alec, <laughs> and um, he, um, I, I I think when I think I'm assuming I could be wrong when he gets like expired off. I can't say the D word, but when he gets expired off, he can he lives on forever. He gets transferred to. He can transfer his mind into other bodies and beings and um um not too much to say about him, but let's talk about the character let's talk about the action figure. I wish that they could have had like another head scope of another facial expression. Cause you know the facial expression is not all that bad and everything, but it would have been nice, you know, if you're paying twenty six bucks for this character that um they could have had some other arms something sleeveless or you know maybe underneath this this cloak i'm assuming it's a cloak right here and um i know s some people on the videos i watched one person's video i think his little skirt right here or whatever you call it was a different color but hmm, i would have passed on that but i guess that's what the costume looked like in the, in the movies and the tv show I don't like it that his feet does not press down all the way, and it feels like you're gonna break it off. That's what I mean. Like the packaging for Hasbro is like not good, because what if his feet? Like I think right now his feet could break off. Um, he's definitely not articulated to the best degree, and um, I'm thinking about when I take off his um, head off this body. I may get another one to take off his head off the body and put like on maybe a business suit attire person or a Black Panther outfit because I got so many characters to choose from over there but I gotta make sure you know the shade is right on the skin you know to make it match hopefully one of the characters over got gloves on and you can't see the shade on the neck and hands but um I'm kind of disappointed in this character. I expected more from this, not character, but action figure. Because if y'all got somebody, you know, this new in Hollywood that's a hot commodity that's going to be in the MCU in a universe, 
then I think the ju the justice should have been the um, action figure should have been a little better. I think he should have had like um, some powers, maybe the powers that he used, something to that degree. And um, I can't assume that he needed ball it like ball it fists or anything because I don't think the man punches. He gets powers and he controls time and all of that. He don't have superpowers, but I know he's like in the comic books. He was like Reed Richards. He was somebody's father. I can't remember in the comic book. But I know in the comic book he was a Caucasian man, but in the movies they make him African American. I'm all about versatility, you know, just versatility when it comes to the characters in movies. But I, I don't know. I just like it's fair to just stick with the comic book. Come out with a character that's this way. That I, I and I'm not, you know, trying to be like just a pest when it or annoying when it comes to that i get it but some things just have to be left the way they are but i have no problem with jonathan jonathan majors being him in the mcu universe so why am i ranting but i just i'm disappointed with this action figure like the feet he can't even stand up i'm gonna have a hard time standing this guy up to a degree like i'm afraid like i'm gonna break his foot his foot's going to be broken off. So, this is going to be one of these other Marvel figures that I'm going to have to lean up against somebody on my collection to a degree. Like, he's standing up right now, but he's... If you look at his feet, his feet look like I could just hit it with something that breaks off or drop him and then break off. That's not fair, Hasbro. Hasbro, y'all got to get together. It's kind of why y'all G.I. Joe collections kind of fell in a little bit too, but I hope Tiger Force comes back strong. But... Definitely, I the face scope is great. It looks just like the actor, but the body is terrible. It's really terrible. And um, I see, you know, he got that right there. It's one of his powers right there. He has this little thing embedded in his chest. Almost like an Iron Man, almost a little bit. But I think his is more um, virtual energy that's a part of the world, you know. And, you know, he got his little thing right here on his hand as well as you can see it if you can see it clearly a little bit but definitely i'm kind of disappointed this figure i give it uh i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten this wasn't the best figure i think the best but the best part about this action figure is the face scope you can take the head off and put on somebody's body that's all i'm gonna say i was disappointed with the body it ain't even all what it's cracked it to be but he's good to add to your collection because like i said he's gonna be very costly down the road that's why i got my extra uh, unbox set on the wall, pinned on the wall with a thumbtack. So I will recommend, you know, recommend him you to purchase him just for have to your collect your Marvel collection. It's okay, your movie collection, your comic book collection. So we're gonna move on. There's um, there's he who remains the Kang the Conqueror. I'm gonna have what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna get a Kang action figure, and I'm gonna switch his head off his body. That will please me even more because this right here ain't it. Okay, so next we got Red Skull from the What If series, and he's been a villain of Captain America for a long time. Really, there's nothing special about Red Skull, and as you know, he's one of the people too in the series uh, that you can do the build a figure on. I know the Red Skull was like an orphan child, and the backstory on him, the little origins I do know, is Hitler took him in and kind of was raised by the Germans. I can't really 100% remember what happened to his face, but his face was um, mortified due to some type of experimental. I think it was something experimental. I don't can't remember. And um, he had the power. He didn't really have powers, but he was good with combat weapons and looking at you with that with them eyes under that mask and scaring the heck out of you. And um, you know he was always he was put in a freezer, something like that, chirogenics or whatever it was, the same thing Captain America was done to, you know, to where he was sealed for a long time, so if I'm not mistaken, I think I had his, his daughter action figure in my old place. She might have got burnt up in the fire or lost in the cause when I was moving in my new place, I don't know. But, okay. So, let's see what this guy has right here. Hmm. So, as you can see, 
I never watched the What If show on Disney Plus. I don't have Disney Plus. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I hope somebody can upload it on free for YouTube one day so I can watch it. <laughs> so this is the arm part for the builder character, uh, Kanashu. I think that's how I pronounce his name. So I'll put him right here until I get the other two figures, and we'll build them on a video one day. So Red Skull, um, he looks really good. Looks scary, don't he? Hope you can see him real good. I don't know because of how the lightning is on my camera. So as you can see, um, I know this is my first Red Skull figure. And um, I'm still thinking about it. I think I did have his daughter as an action figure. I just don't know what happened to her. I'm missing like four different action figures from my move. Okay. So he looks really good. This is my first Red Skull figure. And I'm proud to say that. What I'm disappointed about, he comes with this cube right here. And maybe that's something to do with the TV show. Lord. <laughs> Me and Dolly got to get up and get the cube real quick. Y'all see Dolly Parton? Stand by your man. And show the world you love. That's the wrong artist. <laughs> no, Dolly Parton has some beautiful music. I love Dolly. But what I'm disappointed with this action figure is that he didn't come with, like, a weapon, a gun. You know, normally he has a gun of choice. Because that's what Red Skull always had was a gun. But I think the detail on, well, here is the cube. I, I don't know what the cube is for. Maybe it's something to do with the What If show. He's on there. But um, I was hoping for a, a, a gun in his hand because that's what Red Skull's always known for having a handgun. Now let me put this cube down because I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it falling out out my hand. Let's see. His body structure looks good. You know, he always had a trench coat. Uh, he's very articulated, very well. And let me see. I did this one. One thing I did not go over. He has ball pin arms. I'm not a fan of ball pins. And what's crazy is um, he who remains in the hat ball pins in his arm. I guess it just depends on... I didn't ever bring it up either. I guess it just depends on the figure, how they create it. But he could have been a revamped figure from the old figure. They use the same structure, but just, I don't know, just different like paint. I do like the mask. I love, love the red skull on him. I really kind of wish they had... Um, uh, another head scope with his eyes being that yellowish color in the comic books. That would have been cool. But I'm disappointed with them too. But other than that, like the detail, the jacket, I, I do like the jacket, the trench coat. I do like that um, his he can stand he can stand up on his own. That is a plus to me for Marvel figure, R.G. I Joe figure created by Hasbro can stand up and everything. So, um, I'll give him a nine point. Six out of a ten, just because he didn't have a handgun, and I wanted him to have a second head scope. But create creative wise, I think they was on point about the jacket and everything, and I'm happy to have him in my collection, definitely. So, um, man, why can't he who remains stand up like this? That's like terrible. Like you got to pressure he who remains. Uh, Foot down. Look, he's he like he's surfboard. Surfboard. <laughs> okay, so last but not least, let's talk about my favorite kind of boxing with Madam Hydra. Madam Hydra, a.k.a. known as Viper. The woman once known as Viper assumes command of Hydra, taking the title of Madam Hydra and turning the organization to her personal army. And um, as you know, um, this package is beautiful. I just miss it. Madam Hydra has been displayed in the comic book and TV shows and movies, different kind of versions of her. Because, you know, the one, the Wakanda Forever, Julia Ann Dreyfus from um, Seinfeld played as her. And Julia Ann Dreyfus still looks good. But I was, I guess they'll lead up to something different. And then, um, in some of them TV shows she played in, she was like a, a, a lizard or something, kissing people to poison and the tongue where she was bald headed. It's crazy. It's insane. So, but, you know, and she's been in a lot of relationships with a lot of people. <laughs> and married. So this was a build a figure too, but I don't think I'm going to actually get the build a figure. So let me see. Actually, 
I think I have everybody but Seth. I, I didn't mean to tear the box up. I should have let y'all look at the box. But I have everybody but Seth Iron Man and um, I think this Captain America right here version. Which is not that important to me. Cause, and the build a figure actually was. He was a high, like one of them Hydra monsters, something like that. So let's get to Madam Hydra real quick. I don't want to lose focus on, on the characters. So I know on Instagram, one of my um, uh, Instagram uh, toy club I follow, creepy toy guy, I like him. He's funny as a cat. <laughs> and he had put something up about um, Madam Hydra. He took a wig off, glued her, what she looked like in the comic books with the black hair. I thought that was brilliant. And I'm learning to customize figures game, so I brought that up for a reason. Cause I'm I know how to custom dolls and everything, but I just don't know how to custom uh, action figures yet. And I really do want to learn that specialty. Ain't that background cool? Okay, so Madam Hydra, she comes with these uh here she go, looking like Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> um, there was a Madam Hydra figure before and a lot of people were disappointed with this one because of uh, I know the clarity of her feet should have been like heels, but you know, the female characters who wear the heels have a problem standing up. And they feel like this was a paint, uh, old, like a regular female Marvel Legends body, like average. Eh, you could look at it and say that, you know. But this is my first Madame Hydra figure, so I wouldn't really know how to even um, think about the other figure because I don't have one. So she does come with these two fists right here. And um, she got two guns. So what I'm gonna do is I will. Um, she don't have ball. She don't have any type of ball points. She got ball point legs, but not arms. Thank you, goodness. Thank goodness. All right. And you know, Madam Hydra is actually good with like um, combat, but she's it's been so many different versions of her, evil and good and an anti-hero. Um, let's see. As you can see, the leg bends back. I really couldn't bend back the uh, other two figures because they got that um that cloak on. I really do wish them cloaks were like cloth and the jacket was cloth so you can be the action figure be more durable. Um, what I want from uh, Hasbro is when they create characters, can't, they just need to have, make them have their own body types because this body type is not like cool at all. I would have loved for Madame Hydra to have another head sculpt as well. Because I feel like if you were to pay a lot of money for these figures, why can't we have two head sculpts? You know? And, um... This... She got this, this facial expression like, Okay, I'm here. I'm your leader. I'm here to do some damage. Or, hey, I'm sent to assassinate. But just saying that, you know. So... I just feel like from what I saw on the old Madame Hydra figure, I saw that like in a comic book store here in my hometown, my state, that um, the older one looked pretty much better. And this one is like just something to have in your collection and I should be grateful. But there's nothing special to me about this Madame Hydra at all. The color looks good though, I get it. You know, but I would have loved for her hair to be black or even pulled back instead of like Cause I feel like this hair scope gets in the way of turning her head, and you know, it's just not fair at all. But other than that, she—I think she's a good character to add to your collection. I love the little gun holsters. This is something new. I've never seen her on any action figure of Marvel's two gun holsters. So she got that one gun right here, the one gun right here. Um, I am happy that you know she can stand up. Well, not hundred percent, but she's doable. She's durable. So I give her I give her a 9.5 out of a 10. I recommend if you don't have the first Madam Hydra to get this one, if you can find her. I found her by luck at Walmart one day, and I didn't think Walmart would have this deal. So that's Madam Hydra. So, all right. So I want to thank everybody today for joining me. I want to... Um, thank my new friends for subscribing to my channel. I like to thank um, just for the support. Um, I met 296 uh, friends today. 
I don't call you subscribers, but I just hope I didn't lose this little, uh, little dip square. I'm always losing something. Oh, well, I'll find it one day in the world. But um, I just thank everybody for their support. And um, I'm going to make sure I start uploading on a timely manner. Normally, I do it on Sundays and or Monday, but, you know, I just got to be hand on time. But please make sure you like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Boy with the Parents of the Toys. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe to your family, your friends, and your enemies. And thank you, everybody. Y'all have a great day. You. <laughs>